support your hobby hobby. Welcome Strategy Battle Gamers to another GBHL YouTube channel video. You're here with GBHL James. And GBHL Jamie. And we're going to be unboxing the Grim Hammers today. Not Grim Hammers. It is. Oh, it is Grim Hammers. Woohoo! Okay, right. Yay. We're, today we're going to be unboxing the Grim Hammers from the first lot of Hobbit releases. Yes. So we're going to be going into the box. We're going to be talking a little bit about their stats, how we think that we can make them work. So, okay, I've got my rule book with me. See, I've got the stats on hand. Yeah. I know them up by heart. Yeah, by heart. Also, I think we can just double check the rules. But... <laughs> Whatever, we'll get it. No, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Okay, so I'm going to get into this box here. I'm going to discuss the look. Now, yep. I have to say, when I saw these guys, when I saw the models, I thought these look like they're going to be really Badass. cool. They look like they're going to be really good because they look like the guys in the first movie. Yes, they were. Smell attacks. And they look like that here. So if we show you that box, tell me that those guys don't look like they mean business. Yeah. Are you excited about them? Because you're a dwarf player as well as an album player, aren't you? Yeah. When you saw um, the look of them in the movies and the sort of look of yeah, them as well, a model? I, I thought they might just be like a Erebor Cassard Guard, essentially. That's, yeah. what, that's what I was thinking in my head. Yeah. High defence. High defence, high strength. High strength. Tons but of coverage. were we wrong? <laughs> we were slightly wrong. We were slightly wrong. Lots of people... Defence six... Don't like them, don't Which like them. Bad for a dwarf. Okay, so I'm opening it out here, Straight and three. as with most of these boxes of 12, it does come on a sprue, single, single sprue. sprue. Okay, so let's have a little bit of a look at the plastic models. And they make great hazard guards. They look really cool. They're, just, they're, they're so cool. They look like the business. Yeah. They really do look like the business. They're really heavily armed. I think this is where a lot of people. I've been kind of like, what, are they really Defence 6 only? Yeah. Do you mean Defence 6? Because they've got all of that armour on. Yeah. And they do look really cool. Now it's, like, it's like you compare them to the, the Warriors of Erebor. The Warriors of Erebor with their shield to Defence 7, but seem, well, look on the model a lot less armed. Yeah, they, they look more like a militia almost, yeah, don't yeah. they? Like a ragtag bunch who sort of... Just crap, sees me in attack, quick, just get, me stuff get on. the shield, get the axe. Because some of the guys have actually got some of this armour on, but not yeah. all of it. Yeah. And yet, you know, they're the same or higher defence with a shield. Now, I've got a theory as to why they've done that. And my theory oh, yeah, is, no, yeah, yeah, because of the special strikes, the yeah, inclusion special strike. strikes. Piercing strike, it's to try and encourage you to say, well, do you know what? Defence 7, I'm going to protect that. Because that's a good... And defence 6 is good. But it's yeah. to try and encourage you as a dwarf player to say, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to piercing strike. Yeah. I'm going to use that piercing strike. And these guys, they are armed with these... Sort of pick hammers, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, so they can be used as a hammer to knock them people down or as a pick to piss and strike and you know, crush them. Now, what I'm quite keen to hear from all of our first day subscribers has anybody managed to use these in a really effective way? Because I yeah. think that there possibly are some ways to do this. Yeah. And I think their intention really is. You're meant to team up, aren't you? And yeah. one piss and strikes and one knocks down, and the piss and strike one gets all the benefits and the person's the one who's just knocked down you, you're not potentially losing two models yeah you try and, you try and knock them down you try and piercing strike yeah. and I think that's that's really the goal and I am going to try and make these work I'm going to try and put some of these into my um, Warriors of Erebor army and yeah. see if uh, if we can get them to work yeah. so looking at the sculpts themselves they're, they're incredibly detailed yeah, yeah that's quite consistent with most of our with most of the Hobbit releases they've been very very nice and what do you think of them <coughs> I like the fact they're slaughter bases yeah, like quite a lot of the latest releases have been single pieces, and then you, you glue them to the base. But I, I, I always prefer the slotter. Mm -hmm. it, it just, I don't know, it makes it a bit easier to for, for a player to get playing straight away. And these guys have also got throwing weapons as yeah. well, which of course have been nerfed slightly with the rules to shooting, moving shoot, yeah, because then ruined. they need five plus to hit on the charge in, <clears throat> and they're paying for that as part of the profile. So that's what two points is it per model? Two points a model for a throwing weapon, yeah. And I think that's the little bit where people are like, oh, hang on a minute. I don't. I'd be happy to, happier to take them if they didn't have that two point. So if they were nine points each, then yeah, sure. Now I've heard a lot of people saying, well, do you know what? I really love these models. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use them as Khazad Guard. Yeah. Uh, and I've even seen Sam Page, Southern Doom Down from the One Ring forums. He converted the Grim Hammers to have the spears and the axes and shields of the Warriors of Erebor. And guys, that's gorgeous. We do have a video having a look at that army. It's back when we were just learning to, to do a lot of this. So it sound, a lot of it sounds... <laughs> Green Hammers. <laughs> Erebor. Sounds a little bit like that. But it is pretty good. I'm looking forward to getting these guys painted up and giving them a go. How do you guys think that Green Hammers need to be used? I'm thinking, yep, you bash. You try and win your fight. You've got your spear yeah. support. 
You bash. Two strikes. You bash, and then you charge in next turn when they're still on the floor, and then you pierce and strike. Yeah, and you're trying to almost guarantee you, but you're trying to guarantee your victory um, with them. I'm going to try and wait them work. Hmm. Do you think I can do it? I think you can get a chance to. Yeah. Yeah. No, they're not a bad model. It's just betters. Hmm. I wonder if one of the reasons why people. I mean, <clears throat> you've been spoilt with the Khazad Guard. Yeah, because Khazad Guard is a very powerful, undercosted almost. Yeah. Unit should be a few points yeah, more. Yeah, few points more. I think it works out. To that. Yeah, should be a few points more. And I think people are uh, comparing them to that as opposed to taking them in, that, in their own right. Remember, it's yeah. a different list. And although we are going to see people bring in sort of combos, combos on, the two, yeah. Then but people bring in Barlin and Khazad Guard and then Dwalin and Dwalin and Spears. And was this bit. what I would like to see is I would like to see some guys trying out the Grim Hammers and seeing if they can go. Now, I did see somebody, um, somebody had assembled some on Facebook and they said that they had loads of trouble with the skirts. But the skirts are. moulded onto them. They're moulded onto them. Maybe they mean sort of what I'm. Oh, with the hands going, like whether they can get no, around no, the skirts or. Um, it, it, it could be a sort of like a, a bad cast, but I know some of the older models back when they first started. If you see sort of these kind of places here, where you got a fold, back, a cloth folded back over, yeah. Occasionally, you can have this sort of effect where it's not worked in the in the, in the molding process, and that's just a, a flat surface. Oh, really? Yeah. And you lose a bit of detail, but you'll seem fine, and I'm sure on the whole it is fine. Yeah. And if you have any issues like that, you just get into the Games Workshop and show them the picture on the sprue and go, you know. If anything, these guys look great, and I'm pretty sure that most of us guys who are into Lord of the Rings aren't into Lord of the Rings for power gaming and trying to come up with broken lists. We do it for the theme. And I think that these guys will look gorgeous on a GBHL battle report soon. Mm -hmm. So that's been another GBHL channel unboxing. Today it's been the Grim Hammers. And I, like I say, I want to hear about you guys, your success stories and your failure stories. Comment below and let us know how you've got on with Grim Hammers. Support your Hobbit hobby. And happy strategy battle gaming.